Deuteronomy chapter 26 begins, When you enter into the land the Lord your God is giving you as a special possession, and you have conquered it and settled there, put some of the first produce from each crop you harvest into a basket and bring it to the designated place of worship, the place the Lord your God chooses for his name to be honored. Here we get a glimpse of God's perspective on the tithe. He reminds Israel that everything they produce ultimately comes from Him. And it's the same for you and I today. God asked for a tithe, a tenth. But in truth, all that we have comes from Him. We give Him 10%, but we get to keep 90%. Now that's an amazing deal. But God's interest doesn't stop with our tithe. He cares about what we do with the other 90% as well. This is seen in the second or special tithe in verse 12. It's a tithe for the priest, foreigners, fatherless, and the widows. People who either don't have an income are those who many times are overlooked by society. And God's heart is certainly to provide for them but it's also to bring them into a caring community, the local church. And then to end this chapter, we see a call for the children of Israel to obey the Lord's commands. It's a call with a promise, a call that we would be wise to listen to and obey. Today, the Lord your God has commanded you to obey all these decrees and regulations. So be careful to obey them wholeheartedly. You have declared today that the Lord is your God, and you have promised to walk in His ways and to obey His decrees, commands, and regulations, and to do everything He tells you. The Lord has declared today that you are His people, His own special treasure, just as He promised, and that you must obey all His commands. And if you do, He'll set you high above the other nations that He has made. Then you will receive praise, honor, and renown. You will be a nation that is holy unto the Lord your God, just as He promised.